Hello everyone, it is Alfred Wars and welcome back to another episode of Boom Beach. And today something really funny has happened that I wanted to let you guys know about. Now, a couple of days ago, I upgraded my sniper tower to level 22, this one over here. And at the time, there was a whole lot of things wrong with that particular sniper tower. The first thing that was wrong is that that sniper tower had the exact same stats as a level 21 sniper tower, where at 9,200 health and 269 uh, damage per second. And right now that actually has been fixed. But another problem which I don't think anybody mentioned or knew about is that the price for upgrading or instant finishing that particular sniper tower was way overpriced. And as a result of that, I apparently paid 3,000 diamonds too much for that specific upgrade. So, got message today in my inbox. Over here, I received 3,000 diamonds. It says, Commander, we noticed you upgraded one of your sniper towers to level 22 right after the update. Good job! <laughs> Unfortunately, there was a bug which caused the cost of the upgrade to be too high. We rectified this by now and we'd like to give you these 3,000 diamonds to you to make up for the difference in cost. We apologize for any inconvenience this cost you, Team Boom Beach. Thank you so much. There we go. I was already wondering where my diamonds were, but it's, it's kind of nice to see those diamonds reappearing out of nothing. So if you check it right now, it's actually, uh, that, that seems like the right amount over here. You can compare it from the other video if you like, but yeah, that's a very nice thing of them to do. Like, I really do appreciate that they actually rectified that, and it really shows that the Boom Beach team is working hard on making the game better. Um, if you did that too, which seems very likely, if you did upgrade your sniper tower to level 22 uh, before that, did you also um, did you also get the same pop-up message? Maybe you. I, I I think it's very unlikely that you did because I was I was probably one of the only few people who was dumb enough to go ahead and upgrade a sniper tower simply because you know I wanted to show you guys what it looked like. But yeah, that is just me. Okay, over here getting ten more diamonds and some fragments because I had the submarine and diving. Over here, daily reward for Marshall 1. Uh, I actually didn't do anything today, so that's why my medals are kind of lower than what they were. And over here, I am also going to be going for the gold. So, basically, I want to show you guys that. Now, we're going to be wrapping up this video by doing uh, a submarine dive. And also doing an operation attack. Um, so, let's go ahead and find a good sp a spot here. Um, so once again, I haven't done anything today, not even the event. I was so busy with everything, prepping for Finland, that I honestly didn't get the time to uh, do any of that. So let's find a good uh, spot here. Let's go right here. Let's go right here and actually get this one on the road. Yeah, let's just do this one. That seems good enough. So I've been keeping an eye on um, bloatware. Apparently, the objective is to take out the, um, the flamethrower. That's the biggest thing. So I was thinking, what I will do is in order to make sure that I don't get in range of everything. I just need to check out what the ranges of everything is. So you got those uh, machine guns over here. I can basically use my Zookas to walk all the way at the shore um, to the left side to group them together. From here on out, I think I'll just go ahead and drop a flare right in the little corner over here. Then I'll just probably park my, uh, my Zookas right behind this rocket launch over here. So that way it isn't in range of that flamethrower over there. And then just wipe everything out, dropping a shock bomb on the mortar over here and over here. Getting rid of the mortar over there and then um, keeping that uh, shock launcher shocked over there. Now of course you also have these rocket launchers over here. So we gotta be a little bit careful here. But if we drop our Zookas just before here, we should be good to go. And uh, Zookas over here should not be hit there. So the mortars over here are gonna hit us. These mortars are gonna hit us. And then the shock launcher is gonna hit us. And then there's a chance, yeah, that, oh, that might be kind of tough. But I, I kind of want to give this one a go and see how this one's going to be going. So let's go ahead and do an operation attack. I haven't done one of these and I think I should feature more operation attacks onto the channel in general. So th with that being said, we're going to go ahead and drop a flare right there. Drop the first boat of Zookas incoming. Just like that. Grouping them together, just like that. And then we're going to be acting a little bit fast here, so... Right now, dropping the flare. And once we arrive here, just drop the smoke. You know, nice and easy. Just drop the smoke. Get the Zookas in position. That's what we want. We don't want to make a mess here. We want to make sure that we make it. 
Now some of the Zookas might get exposed for a little bit here, but there's nothing really we can do about that. Instead, we can just focus on making sure that the other Zookas that uh, are not getting... Well, I actually did it perfectly. We did it perfectly. It's a perfect attack right here. I really like what I'm seeing there. Okay. So, shocking everything we can shock right now. That we, we can actually take care of the rocket launch just like that. Oh! That one over there almost hit us pretty badly. Right now, I should probably focus on to... Uh, Oh, oh, I cannot, ow, 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 I cannot do much of anything here. I'll just focus on this, I guess. Oh, actually, we, we might be able to, to take care. Oh, there, there goes down, objective completed. We actually took care of, uh, we actually managed to make it. That is insane, we actually managed to destroy the flamethrower. I think that's gonna make the task force very happy. So that means what people can do is they can just drop, uh, oh, I should have used my artillery, of course, but yeah. I think that was a very solid attack. I think that was a great one to wrap up this episode with. I um, right now we're recruiting. We're about to. We're gonna be doing a very special episode on Boom Beach Task Force. So I hope you guys are interested in that. I'm gonna be give you some behind the scenes about how everything is working within our task force. In the meantime, if you wanna be joining in, then all you need is 400 victory points um, and stand open for uh, feedback. Basically, we have a Discord server for redemption. If you want to be joining in, uh, it is a requirement. Also, 50 in top a week and attack on a daily basis. And um, pretty soon, I'll elaborate that a little bit more so that way you can get a better picture about the way we work. But uh, our attacks have really been improved thanks to Discord and thanks to uh, the way we are combi combining our forces together as a task force. So, with that being said and done, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Pretty cool from the Boomy team to actually give me those diamonds back so I can go ahead and. Uh, instant finish uh, some other troops but yeah i'll see you guys back again tomorrow i hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to boom give it a thumbs up and this has been reverse for boom beach i'm gonna be signing off and i'll see you guys in the next one